Chapter Eleven of Puss in Boots Junior in Fairyland. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Shasta, Oakland, California. <coughs> Puss in Boots Junior in Fairyland by David Corey thunder voice one day puss junior came to a high mountain and as he was tired and thirsty he looked about him for a place to rest and something to drink and in a few minutes he spied a little spring gushing right out of a rock and close by not a foot away sat a little fairy dressed in green i am the spirit of the water she cried waving a silver wand in the air may i take a drink from your spring asked puss junior politely but he didn't drink a drop for he was afraid he might not like it of course you may she replied but only one goblet full and she handed him a beautiful crystal glass and as soon as he had tasted the water his weariness left him and he felt refreshed now said the little fairy don't you climb up that mountain for on the top lives a giant whose name is thunder voice and he'll scare you to death and may deafen you never fear my kind little fairy answered the little hero i once met the giant of the beanstalk so why should i fear the giant of the mountain and he bowed to the fairy of the spring and started up the mountain and by and by he heard a dreadful noise the mountain shook and trembled and the air rushed by like a hurricane and the trees bent and the grasses shivered and great pieces of rock tumbled down into the valley below i guess old thunder voice is talking to himself said the little hero with a laugh which shows he wasn't afraid doesn't it and then who should come in sight but the giant himself and he was so tall and big that puss couldn't see the top of his head and neither could the giant unless he looked in his wife's mirror where did you come from kitten asked the dreadful big man in a thunderous tone which almost blew off puss junior's hat i am puss in boots junior and you can't frighten me rum rum dum dum yelled the giant and the feather on little pussy cat's hat blew off and drifted down the wind until it caught on a fir tree how dare you speak to me like that no one ever did before and lived to tell the tale and he rushed at puss and tried to catch him but puss darted to one side and drew his sword and when the giant saw that he laughed again and said you are a brave little cat come to my castle and i promise you no harm shall befall you so puss went with him and when they entered the giant's home a little gray dove flew out and lighted on his shoulder and cooed and the big giant stroked its pretty feathers so softly that puss thought to himself this giant can't be so very wicked after all if he loves that little bird and he wasn't the least bit afraid but sat down on a chair while the giant hung up his great cap on a wooden peg and wound the clock and in the next story you shall hear more about puss junior at the giant's castle and chapter eleven